Flavor Blast pizza rolls. Yes, I tried them. They're all right, but the original is better. Into the storage. Cholesterol check. Yeah, I said on the, the Taco Bell side of this, I am doing good. Doctor says everything's a-ok. -okay. Heart's in really good shape. BMI is good. And everything's everything's a-ok -okay right now. Just gotta track calories, and then you ah. can squeeze in a bunch of Taco Bell calories at the end of the day. Beer. to get to uh, step 95, uh, hmm. you know, skipping over to step before that. And uh, Stouffer's is better than Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, but both are among the greatest food that's ever been made. I have found ways of sort of you know, shortening the distance. <laughs> Those stupid little vets are my favorite. Give it up yet, Badger? I need to take a break. I'm Patrick Quepic. I'm gonna put my hands up in the air. Gonna breathe real slow. Gonna think about this. Oh, this is power block. What do I do with this power block? <laughs> the worst voice. My dad wants to kill me anytime I do that. <laughs> Do this every night. This is great. Adults, this is just relaxing. Who put them in the game? Uh, if you like, gonna sing my Wood of Mario songs. Patrick Quepic. Follow me on Twitch, YouTube. That's what he says. <laughs> I hate music blocks. I'm Patrick Quepic. <laughs> And the viewers responding now? <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. Uh. I'm going to do a witch play and get a million viewers because I'm packed with Quepix. I can beat any level you men can work it. I'll beat any level you make forever and ever. <laughs> this is fun. You get my feather? Oh no, I joined again. Which again is, is mostly just a combination of rope memory. I mean, it's mostly just rope memory, but it's. <laughs> this
wonder if I can Skype Patrick. Let me see if he's, I'm going to text him and see if he can Skype me in. Okay. I just texted him. We're going to see if he can Skype me in. We can cross the streams. If he checks his phone, I understand if he's got it on silence or something. Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> I don't know if I have Skype on my phone. I can do it on my laptop, though. I'll make sure I have Skype on my phone before he, uh... I do have Skype on Xbox, but I'm also watching this on my Xbox. Oh, I'm singing my little songs again! Patrick Quebec. Dan wants me to Skype him in for a chat. <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> yeah, come on, Patrick. I'm not gonna berate. I just want to chat with you. Patrick, I'm gonna, quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to talk to him. <laughs> I'm downloading Skype. I haven't. I've Skype before. Uh, all right, you can. Thank you, Fenza. Good. I'm glad he's not doing it right now because I don't know if I have it. Oh, it's a desktop app? Okay. <clears throat> Come on, fucking load up the thing. I need to stop buying cheap, shitty computers. Going for this again, all right. All right, I do have Skype on here. Fuck, it's my password. Okay. I don't think I have Patrick on here. I mainly used this when I was doing the power bomb cast from. Minnesota. And as you can imagine, I've not needed to do that lately. I will search for Patrick. Okay. Patrick can text me if he wants to Skype. I am prepared for that. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna fucking drop the pal block and it's not gonna work and it's gonna be great. here. Wait, but he already used the P-block? Wait, no, that's fine. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. All right, he's here. He's here. Uh, I hope our Skype chat isn't right after he beats me. That would not be the way I want to do this. I'm going to whoop my forehead. Oh, God, I'm going to whoop my eyes. It would have been. Whoop my wooden patch with Quipic eyes. Whee! <laughs> I mean, I'll put on my little mustache a little bit. Gonna blink at the camera. Mm. What's Patrick Whipper gonna do? So I got 
I got this pal walk. My hair just changed. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> hmm, I want my nose. That's better. What's it doing? Brian has got all the elements here. He's here at the end. When I get nervous and I've got to think, I've got to pause and go like this. If I have the power block on top of the trampoline, I think I can get to the door. Oh, God, he's got the right idea. He's got the right idea. No, he doesn't. Although I don't know if the power block can kill the dry bones. If the power block can kill the dry bones, I'm an idiot because I didn't think about that because I planned on it having to be the star. I'm afraid if you leave the power block, it will despawn from the world. I better keep a pause for another 15 minutes and scratch my head. And when you run over with the power block, Hit the star, come back. Okay, still missing some elements here. Power can kill dry bones, but doesn't kill aerial targets. So even if you threw it up, you couldn't kill the power dry bones? Because so I tried smashing it, and that didn't kill it. Hundred ninety seven seconds, Clever. Totally gonna run out of time this time. I don't know why he's taking that power block out there either. Grab this, come down, drop it. And Fob watched on Twitter has been doing some great gifts of this whole thing. This is fantastic stuff. He's not going to get it this time, and then maybe he'll not think about this. Yes! No! Yes. Oh no! I didn't stop wide enough to kill the dry bones! Oh, that whooped my head so much! Better pause! <laughs> That's going to throw him off. That's great. Perfect, perfect, perfect! Throw him off! He's so close, but so far. That's perfect. Whoa. Oh, the scary music starting. I'm going to die. Oh, God. Yes, that little touch. Yes. Yes. He's testing it. As long as he doesn't figure out that he can reach that, he's going to be thrown so far off the scent. This is great. Skype me, Klebic. Face me. <laughs> Do it. Throw it, Patrick. Throw it. You got to test different things, Patrick. How do you know if you don't try?
greatest night in the history of our sport. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, he broke it! Oh, I broke the bow block! I broke the bow block! I needed that! <laughs> Brian, look at this. Just the bottom part. Jason Berger is watching. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh. Yes, it's so good that he didn't get there. He tried several times and failed. So now it's super important that all of you give him the false information. Uh. Dude in chat trying to sell his PlayStation 4 over Skype. Don't do that shit. I got fucking hustled in college. Some guy on some message board said he was selling a PlayStation. I PayPal and he didn't send me anything. And it wasn't on eBay, so I didn't have any protection. I always get stuck at the, uh, the second intersection. Uh, perfect. Tonight's going great. Oh, he's going to Skype me. Okay, good. I better grab another beer. I'm getting a call from the Pet to Equip It! Famous on YouTube! Uh. Oh, the chat doesn't like this voice. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it's the most grating thing that anyone could possibly do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. My dad has probably heard like a cumulative like 30 hours of that voice while we're drunk. Uh, I just wanted to kill me. Thank you for everyone joining me here. This is just this is super duper fun. I love this. Man, Klepik is a good... I've, I've done that voice for years, but Klepik is a really good last name to do that voice with. Klepik! Patwick! You can get a couple W's in there. The W's are the key to that voice. And you can do... Patwick Klepik! Oh, it's great. Oh, now he's trying to get in with Big Mario. Good. Go down that rabbit hole, buddy. See, by having people fuck with him in his Twitter feed and the chat, that just makes it so even if people are trying to tell him the solution in the chat, it's fucked. Because everything else is going to be other things that are false, so we can't believe anything. It works out pretty well. Yes, this is great. I can't fit through this hole, I'm too big! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a little ducky jump and it goes so slow. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Ooh, piranha plant's a good thing to say with that voice too. Piranha plant! Yeah, yeah. It's the L's and the R's you can turn into W's. I should probably do that voice a lot when I'm being a heel in APW, shouldn't I? When I'm making fun of the crowd, I... No, oh, our favorite didn't win! We're gonna boo you! Oh, uh, that'd get some heat, wouldn't it? I wanna do that. We don't like you! Yeah, I should do that. Yeah, I'll, put, I'll add that to the notes. Oh, now you're fucked.
I'm here as long as he's gonna go. I'm, I'm in for the long haul. I got enough beer and whiskey out there. I'm I'm here. This is this is a delight. Trying to ask how my phone battery is. I'm gonna plug in my iPad while it's doing this, just to make sure we're good. Aww. We're gonna Skype. All right. Brian, do you mind if just for a second we kill the fan? And just to make sure I'm gonna mute the TV and everything. Okay, he's texting me. This is gonna be weird. This will be really weird for people watching the Periscope part. Um, so I would recommend just watching Patrick's for this because you will be able to actually see my thing, I think. Okay, I'm gonna mute this. I'm not gonna do the voice, I'm a professional. I'm talking to a fellow video game journalist. I need to be serious and not do annoying voices. What? Oh, the fucking debate is still on in another window. Shut up, Wolf Blitzer. Waiting for the call from, from Patrick. Patrick Klepik. That's how you pronounce his name. I'm going to try to get his thought process. I'm going to try to find out what he's thinking about here. Got a call coming in. Hello? Hi, Patrick. Video, except all videos on this call. Hold on, let me see. Give me, give me a second here. Okay, I got all night. I don't have, I don't have, a, I don't have a Jason or a Vinny to uh, run my uh, <laughs> my web capture. Uh, what do you got against Drew? He's just so special. He's, right, right. Can be unnamed. All right, hold on. Okay, theoretically, if I <laughs> window capture, we're doing live troubleshooting. This is good. This is good to learn. Good, good. Hold on. Why is there sand on my beer? Oh, I brought it to the beach. That's right. <laughs> that was confusing for a second. Wait, come on. Why isn't this working? <laughs> Did they tangle and complete? Ah, okay. Hold on. Okay. Oh, wait. I just realized I should get something. You, you go ahead and... Figure that out. I'm gonna grab some stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. There we go. There's my setup. Woo. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> How are you? You know, uh, I've had better weeks. Yeah. Um, you know, I've had weeks where. Uh, I felt good about myself. Uh, I've had self confidence, but you know, sometimes it's the darkest before the dawn. You know, you've got to go through trials and tribulations before you can see yourself on the other side. I don't. I I have watched all of your trials and tribulations. I think I've seen every minute of you doing you. this. Um, you've given me some up and down ups and downs here, Patrick. Uh, I feel you've been. Like I have to at least have given you some heart palpitations. You did. There were times where you were really on the right path, and then you totally got sidetracked. Um, there were just numerous, numerous times that you were either way on or way off, and you would just go back and forth all the time. Uh, tonight's been a roller coaster. It's been great. Yep. Um, I feel... I feel close, but I don't... Fuck you in that end of it. I don't, I don't know what the end of this is. What's your thought process right now? If you were, if you, gun to your head, somebody said, name what you have to do, what do you have to do? I'm not going to react positively or negatively. You take, you, take, you take the star, you get in there, you somehow knock dry bones down, which allows you to put the power block on top of the trampoline, and then you go inside the door. Okay. But I don't, here's my fear. My fear is you go inside that first door, that I've spent all of this time going inside this door, and then it puts you inside the trap with the other two doors. I don't, I don't know where the doors go. Because I, I don't get to be like these, these, these wise guys in the chat 
Like, oh, I, uh, you, 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 what do you want? Just, you are on the editor. You know where everything goes. You know where the pipes lead. There's probably a way to Yoshi. I don't know how to get there. So you have not looked at the editor. Because we, we, we did not make that an official rule when we were setting this up. So I could not technically get mad at you if you did, but I think as a gentleman's agreement, that seems unsporting. I felt, I felt like, by virtue of doing this publicly, uh, I have not had any major spoilers. In fact, the one or two times, which I told you, that I was like, eh, like, I don't think it's major, but I think someone told me about something. Both times, they were completely fucking with me. Or at least, I don't know. I mean, it's possible. It's possible they told me the solution and I don't believe them, but they were, it's nothing along the path that I've been thinking, and there were things much earlier in the process. And so that's actually been the weird thing, is that even where people are like, oh, well, he's getting spoiled, like people are just telling him things, like equal number of people, if not more people, I think are just out to ruin me. And Good. At this point, I don't believe anyone. Patrick? I, literally, I couldn't believe if someone was telling me the truth. Those people that are out to ruin you, those are my people. <laughs> Big thumbs up to them. So I guess what? This leaves us, this leaves us. You spent what? How many hours doing this? Oh, man. Um, so fr 20, right? Friday night was the night I was up till like 4.30 working on it. And that sucked. I was in just rough shape by the end of that. Um, and then I woke up like three hours later and uh, exploits. Like I was getting videos of exploits. People were sending them to me on Twitter and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I had to take it down and re-upload it. And like I didn't have any secret way of, of getting through the level. Like... I was actually doing stuff that was harder than the people were doing that I've seen in videos. Like, like the bob thing to the Goomba or whatever. Like, I was kicking it instead of carrying it over. Like, just dumb stuff. that like, oh, yeah, of course I could do that. Um, so, yeah, I had to re-upload it, like, all of Saturday and I think maybe early Sunday. I can't remember when this one got uploaded. Um, okay, well, that's when I told, I told you the idea about the charity, and then we set up the page, and I think that's when you were doing the final upload. Okay, okay, that sounds about right. Yeah. Because then, because then we had to put the final code into the uh, into the charity page. Right, and then we locked it in for Monday morning. So, yeah, yeah, man, you have been super close and super far many different times. <laughs> and God damn it, this is my favorite thing in the world. Now that like my work is done, my work is completely done. I can just sit back here and drink beer and watch you and laugh at you, and sure. uh, I don't ever have to play this level again. I mean, I might do it on like a UPF or something just to kind of show it off or something, but whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, you might it, you might beat it. Keep going. No, you might beat it. Like I have accepted, there is a very real chance that you beat this. Have you watched? Now I haven't seen any of the exploits. Obviously, that would make my life much easier. I also enjoy the conspiracy theory that maybe I'm just dragging this out because this is what I would want to do five hours a day every day of my life for three days. That definitely seems like a thing I'd like to do. But if you in any of the exploits. Have people done it in harder ways than the way you were supposed to do it? The intended sequence based on what you wanted people to do? Yes. Um, it's not possible now in the level because I made some okay. changes. And I'll tell you about this once this is all over. Right. But somebody did something super fucking crazy that worked. And it was actually kind of harder than the intended way. But I actually debated whether or not to take that out. I did wind up fixing that exploit. But I think it's harder. So I almost should have kept it in. Um <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about it afterwards. It's, it's pretty insane what this guy did. Okay. All um, right. Well, I think, I think I need to try and give my last couple of runs before we get to the final day. Last couple but, runs, Patrick? That sounds like quitter talk. Well, I got 24 hours. I got 24 hours. I got, I got, I got a whole other day ahead of me. The, I think the scary part is if, if I stop now, then I only have one more night. Because then the alternatives are staying up late and being very angry at yourself or getting up very early and like putting, figuring out what the script is for a Twitch clock to put in the corner. Oh, wow, and yeah. having that just run against me playing. Because you... If we, get, if, if we somehow get into the morning of, Thursday morning, I will find whatever, however you run a script on Twitch so that there is a clock Good. running in the corner. Perfect, perfect. Heighten the drama. Okay. Um... So technically, any, your final. Left you want to say. Sorry. Yeah. So let's make sure the final minute you have is this ends Thursday morning. So that's when I started. So, so that's the thing that's even better. It's from when I started. I started. Uh, well, I have to the exact start time. Somewhere, sometime between eight and eight thirty in the morning, uh, Central uh, Standard Time, which means 
I couldn't get up and play at the normal time that I would oh, play. Oh, yeah. I had to get up even earlier to put in. So I'd have to get up at like 5 in the morning if I wanted to put in hours, which means that if I was playing the night before, at some point you have to cut it off so you can get some decent amount of sleep. I like where this is going, Patrick. <laughs> this all sounds great to me. All right, well, I'll plug you, Dan. I'm going to get back to your stage. All right, enjoy. <laughs> all right. How do I not have the belt just on hand all the time? If I wanted to put in hours, oh, which weird. means that if I was going to watch my conversation before, with Patrick. At some point, Shit. you have to cut it off so you can get some decent amount of sleep. I like where this is going, Patrick. <laughs> I spared him the voice. All right, well, I'll plug you, Dan. I'm going to get back to your stage. I didn't think about that. Yeah, like, it's either all night, tomorrow night, or he gets up super fucking early. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, that's great. He's got a couple more runs in him. longer he's got in him. Oh, you're playing uh, Undertale. Undertale is fantastic. That's great. See someone in the chat saying I gave him too much info saying he was super close tonight. I don't know if I specifically said that. I said there were times he was super close and times he was super far. I don't. I don't think he gleaned anything from that. Even if you get rid of them during uh, this sequence, uh, you'll just still have to. We talked a bit about ah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that. Talk about this a bit on the the bombcast I went up today. I really like the idea of doing an extra life marathon tighter on this. That sounds really good. I really want to spend like. 12 hours making the worst level ever with like a chat's help. I can, I can do it from the, the uh, Giant Bomb office and just make the worst thing ever. And then we can like beta test it like live in the chat and stuff with people telling them, like, oh, make sure that you can't do this or whatever. Like, that sounds great. So, we're, 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 you know, we have like 90 minutes tops so basically you, with those Giant Bomb made, streams. Uh, um, so, I'm oh, sorry, uh, he's talking. Well, that's coming. Oh, he's talking about Star. Um, so yeah, if it's an extra life thing, we could spend fucking 12 hours or more just fine-tuning the worst thing ever. It's worse than this even, maybe. This is really bad, though. I like that super beer you've got. That stuff's good. It tastes really good. It's stronger than normal beer. It's good. Yeah, it's good all the way around. Fortune? Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Miller. That's the case. I'll get some of that. That's good. Miller Fortune. I like it. And how exactly do you take him out? Oh, no. Patrick's chat's telling him about the Yoshi. It's all over if he gets the Yoshi. <laughs> I feel like I need to focus on that. I, what's the point of coming back here with the power block? Well, I guess... If yes, what's the point? What's the point, Patrick? The power block is critical to doing it. He pauses a lot. He's got to think. He's got to put on his thinking cap. Now 
drop the trampoline on the taller block. Oh, wow. I didn't even think of that. Holy shit. You could put the pow block down. Because he's having trouble reaching the height of the, the dry bones. You could put the pow block down and put the trampoline on top of it. I mean, you can do it with just a pow block, but it's very specific. That would be helpful. Can you kill the dry bones with the Goomba? I feel like he has done that several times, yes, but I think that causes trouble. I'm not sure. Because you're not supposed to kill the dry bones until you go back and forth. Check on the uh, the charity. Uh, what we're up to here? GoFundMe.com slash the Reikening. If you want to donate, Patrick does this. It all goes to the American Heart Association. If uh, he does not do it, he goes to the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. So uh, it is. Oh wow, sixty-five twenty plus me and Patrick's hundred. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting close to like seven thousand dollars going to charity because of this dumb fucking thing. Corner jump through the narrow passage to hit dry bones without dropping the pow. Huh. What makes the exploit way easier? I see someone. I missed the first part of that comment. <laughs> oh, he buried his hand on the desk. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm gonna hit my desk because I'm a tough guy. I'm Patrick Quepic and I'm so tough. You don't want to mess with me, buddy. I'm Patrick Quepic. <laughs> Oh, man. That's the most fun. <laughs> I'm totally going to do that in APW. Oh. <laughs> the crowd starts doing some bullshit. Oh, yeah. uh. <laughs> Bounce a step under the door. Huh. I like seeing both of these chats at the same time. This is great. Seems like Patrick's Twitch chat is more... Seems like the skew is a little more pro-Patrick. Seems like my Periscope thing is a little pro-me. I guess that makes sense. Who would have thought? Yeah. Have we reached out to the organizations to tell them we're doing this or will it be a surprise? Not reached out. I saw that Brain and Behavior Foundation uh, favorited a thing. Um, I tweeted or someone else tweeted about it. Um, so if they at least have some inkling that this is happening. I'm not sure about American Heart, that's Patrick's. Oh! Look at that! Look at Patrick's chat is even pro Dan. Look at this! No one wants you to win, Patrick. This is great. Ah, you're all so nice. This is fantastic. Oh man, we're all a team. Patrick, Chad, and Dan, Chad. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yes, all the team Dan going on in Patrick's chat. Hashtag Team Riker on Twitter. <sighs> Didn't play much World. Is there a reason to throw the Goomba in the air and catch it? I mean, there was really nothing in Mario World that ever required that. It was just a thing you could do. Uh, you can do it with shells, too. Like Koopa shells. Um, I, don't, I can't think of any, like... It wasn't a puzzle-heavy game, necessarily, except for finding alternate paths to, like, you know, past ghost houses and going to the Star World and everything, but that rarely, if ever, required, like, throwing Koopas or Goombas, like, up. That never really happened. It was more just, like, finding alternate exits or finding a key and swimming underneath the end of the level and finding a keyhole at the end and go to Star World or whatever. 
nothing in Mario World is anything like this. This is a totally bastardized, terrible version of Mario World. One of the greatest games ever. Just realized my girlfriend is coming over tomorrow night, which is the final night of him streaming. And so we're certainly going to watch this live. The original plan was just us playing Yoshi co-op, but she super wants to watch this. So I might have to subject my girlfriend to the voice. And I hope she doesn't break up. never heard it before? No! I, I mean, it's usually been reserved for just my dad and Jason. And they both want to murder me every time I do it. Um, I, I hope she does not break up with me over that voice. That's possible. It's, I couldn't blame her at all. I'd be like, yeah, this, this all makes sense. You're like, I have to, I have to use it, though. Oh my god, he, he's getting there. He should. You should throw it. You should throw it on those spikes. Mario Maker could be updated with more assets. What game would you want in it? Well, I mean, two, but I understand why they don't, because, like, it just changes everything. Like, then it's like, well, what... If you change it to so, a different tile set, what happens to the turnips and the potions and all that shit? Birdo and Wart. Mario 2 is awesome. Uh, Are you, you a Mario 2 fan? Yeah. yeah okay, good. 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 Some people just have this weird, irrational hatred of it. Mm, not a real Mario. It's a fucking great game. It's incredible. Yeah, I think that's a real Mario game. <laughs> so when I set the power black down, I was not able to touch it. Yeah, yeah here we go. It was just so weird. In a great way, though. Yeah. I feel like Mario and Zelda were kind of a similar thing to where it's like, okay, you start with this instant crazy classic, the than the and then the second one's super goddamn weird, and everyone's just very polarizing, mm -hmm. and then the third one is like, oh, sorry about that second one, let's go super in the way of that first one, but way better. And like, so Mario 3 and Link to the Past were both like total classic style and everything, but just way better. Yeah. But, pretty awesome. but again, two... Doing, is he peeing? Patrick Weapons going to go pee pee! Uh, <laughs> I wish you could hear me. That yeah, would only make it better. Nice. If he was in the middle of urinating and he heard me mocking him. <laughs> Did he do something with his hair? Did he just go comb his hair in the bathroom and come back? I don't know what the hell he's doing. Gotta whoop pretty for my wet play! Let's play. <laughs> hey, he should start it. He's got the cursor over. He should start my level. Oh, he's thinking. He is right here. He's right here. He just said the star's not going to happen. That's totally what he has to do. I'm a poison thing. I'm a thinking man. I'm Patrick Whippick. I have to think about things. Off the power block. Oh. Wait, he's trying to... What? <laughs> he said I'm going to try to bounce the star off the power block? I don't know if I heard that right, but that's real dumb. It's possible this little section here, when you come through at the end... Somebody just said Joe Juba misses that voice. I do that to, I probably did that to Joe right at some point. You had to. You had to. actually <laughs> Playing about my hairy leg. There you go. <laughs> I'm wearing pants, folks. I got shorts on. Look at that. I'm not sitting here naked next to my roommate. Professional. Yeah, just that's just how it is every night. Just yeah. Complete nudity. <laughs> yeah. Just dick hanging out here on the couch, drinking beer. That's how I relax. Who are you to judge me, Brian? <laughs> this is what you signed up for. I totally told you about this. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you can move in with me, but I'm going to have my dick out all the time. <gasps> oh, no! He did it! You did the right thing? Yes! Oh, no! 
Oh shit, he is right on the right track. Look at his face, look at his dumb face. Oh no. Oh my god. He's there, Brian! Oh my god! He's gonna go in the fucking door. That is oh, the right he's one. Still, he's going the right one. Oh, uh oh. He knows what to do. <laughs> I hope he dies in a really stupid way. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I need more beer. I don't know which door I fell down. <laughs> I was not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna fucking do this. He's gonna do it. Run out of some time there. And he's really trying to fidget. And even the last thing is easier said than done, too. There's a key block above him. It has to be the one right in the... Oh, man. This is intense. I saw one that was like the relay. Classic Patrick overthinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He's so close. That's not it. That's not it. No! <laughs> to make that a little easier, but he's, I think he's got it. I will, he's going to win this thing, but I will savor that moment for the rest of my life. going to beat it. Nah. It's going to take a part of you away. But re renewed confidence, comrades. Renewed confidence, friends. We have seen the gates of Valhalla, and we are going to walk through them. <sighs> God damn it. Here's the thing. He won't be able to sleep tonight because he knows or thinks He's so close. He can't lay in bed, knowing he's right there. I've seen things. I don't think we're done tonight. I don't think we're done. Dry bones. I've seen the gates of Bahawa. Pillars and spikes. I seen some shit, man. I've been there. I see it. He knows it. He knows it. He's got it. He's got it. I am saying right now, 
unequivocally, I expect him to win this. But it's still all worth it. This is this is great. And we still fuck with him on Twitter and Twitch and stuff. And also I'm gonna get making levels, so yeah. I always win in the end, that's the thing. Well worth a hundred dollars. Might be about time to switch to whiskey. He's gonna be done soon. He's doing a fantastic job. He's doing a very good job with like the jumps and stuff. Cause in all the times I uploaded when I had done it before, ha, <laughs> that's funny. Um, it was still hard. The music block stuff, I would get greedy. I would get, uh, I'd be trying to move too quick and everything, and it wouldn't work well. Uh, he is doing a great job of that stuff. So, credit where credit is due. And also, he figured this out. So, I don't think we're done yet. That's a good place to die. That is definitely not one, one where I've died before. A new place to die. That might be the, that might be the name of my next level. He just died. That's a new place to die, and that's a pretty good name for a level. A new place to die. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> All right. At regain your center of gravity. Just because you've seen the mountain top does not mean you're going there. <laughs> got a got a DM from uh, Steve, who is at Fobwash. He's the one who makes all the uh, the gifts. He's requesting a give me another I'm Patchwick Quepic into the cam. So I assume he's got something planned here. So let me make sure I perform this correctly. I'm Patchwick Quepic. Okay. Hope that worked, Fobwash. Let me know if it doesn't. I should have done one of these at the end. Section, um, you know, so you bring the key block with you. <laughs> hey, Brian, you want to grab me a uh, blue moon while you're in there? <laughs> and do what? Oh, wait, no, oh, I want to do whiskey. That's right. Let me, I'm going to grab some whiskey business. Yeah, I'll be back. Periscope. Good shot. You know, you've got the key lock. You wait till the doom is under you. And then, um... <laughs> that's when it's under All right, I'm feeling we're in for the long haul here. Two types of Jim Beam here. Booze is too expensive here. Yeah. 
Is there any way, is there any last ditch attempt we could throw him off, or is he pretty much like, pretty much accept that he's got it now, right? I could tell people to fuck with him, but he might not see it. Also, why would he, why, yeah, he's got it, he's got it. It's just a matter, he's got to get this done now. Every bit of this is worth it. The hundred dollars, all the, the hours I spent making this. All worth it. So good at that. It's, it's kind of ridiculous now to to become relatively uh, second nature to come get this watch. Not that I don't. Red Stack stuff is pretty good. It's Jim Beam, Black Terry. So it's Jim Beam, so it's pretty cheap. Just saying, don't forget to save the Periscope. People always tend to archive every dumb Periscope I do and put it on YouTube, so I'm sure it'll find its way on there anyway. It'll probably wind up being synced with Patrick's, I'm sure. Play some levels he makes next. Like I said earlier, anytime. Anytime. He's not going to be able to sleep. There's no way... Hey, Brian, you seem like he was right there. Like, can you imagine after trying so hard for so long and then just trying to, like, lay down and go to bed? No. I just can't see him doing it. After being so jazzed up. Yeah. And it's great, too, because he's two hours ahead of us. And so it's 1230 where he's at. Oh, like, way later? Uh-huh. Whereas you just have all night. Ah, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Get up at 630, go to the gym, I'll be fine. I've won no matter what. That's the position I wanted to put myself in. I can't lose this. I'll give a hundred bucks, but whatever. It's been worth it though, just to let a man torment it to his breaking point. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. Yeah. He's here. He's here. He's got the power block here. I bet you got it this time, Patrick. Do it again, Patrick? Man, I never did that. Like, I put it directly underneath the drive bone, but this is smart. Oh no, the star's gonna run out, Patrick! Oh no! Oh no! I couldn't jump high enough! I'm Patrick Quepic and I couldn't kill dry bones! <laughs> Joke. You know what? I'm going to savor every one of these until the end. <laughs> every time he dies. <sighs> they can't write and laugh real hard. <laughs> no. No, Patrick. No, I wouldn't have laughed at you. I'm here with a fellow gaming journalist. Solidarity, right? Yeah. That's journalist. Hold on.
Brian, do you remember all that hard-hitting journalism I did at Game Informer? Oh, yeah, you're really digging up all the scoops. Yo, man, that's what they called me. Remember when you called me Scoops so many times? With all those scoops I got? Danny Scoops. We Danny called Scoops, whole <laughs> Danny Scoops, at it again, getting them scoops. <laughs> I'm a big shot of it. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh, I've never had black cherry. It's good. Black cherry whiskey's good, it turns out. Ooh. <laughs> I hope you start calling me Scoops. <laughs> Danny Scoops. You can start calling me Danny Scoops. That's fine. I just feel like right after I said it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's going to be his new nickname for like a month. <laughs> Did the Super never scoop anything? <laughs> Not even. Well, you had what, that one story about, that was interesting about uh, what it's like to make an iOS game and totally fail. That was my one, like, real, like, I'm going to do some, I'm going to be, like, a big boy journalism. I'm going to do a, I'm going to write a real story. <laughs> that, was, that was actually pretty good. Yeah. That was a fun read. <laughs> Turns out journalism's boring as shit. I just don't play video games. <laughs> <laughs> Never want to be a journalist? <laughs> Danny Scoops, on the other hand. Danny Scoops, oh man, he used to wear his reporter hat when he was eight years old. He's just going down all the dark alleys, solving all the unsolved murders in Olathe, Kansas. There were none. chat in this app, like, you have to D-pad through the fucking letters and stuff? That sounds terrible. I don't think... Do they, they do keyboard? US, USB keyboard compatibility? I don't know if they do. PS3 did. Maybe there's... If they're, if they're releasing a new chat pad, that's, I don't think it's on Oh, there. yeah, they have that chat pad for the... Oh, yeah, people are on Periscope are saying that you can do USB keyboard stuff. Crazy. That'd be real tough. You just had to type all that crap. Yeah, it's oh, a browser. Freaking controller. There's something Steam controllers out? Something in the chat says. Huh. I wonder if there's something in that. Boston is better than Bob Seeger. That's crazy. Boston's a perfectly good rock and roll band. Bob Seeger is Bob Seeger. Night. Oh, yeah, does that Steam machine have a date yet? Or the controller or anything? The, like, the hardware th hardware thing? Yeah. Um, oh, God, he's right there. Um, I don't know about the actual hardware. Like, I remember them saying the thing where there was, like, three different configurations or whatever. I don't know. Have you held the controller? No. That's weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm holding, judge holding off judgment until I see one. They seem to be constantly revising it, so I would hope that by the time it comes out, it's just like totally awesome again. Oh no. Yes. Oh boy. Yeah, oh you boy. done that time. Oh, he got him! He got him! <laughs> Whoa. That had to be on like the last frame. Holy shit. That was impressive. Wow, that was, that was, wow. That's smart, though, the way he put it down at the end of that the path. That gives you more room to run. Like, I intended it for it to be, you had to put it directly below the dry bones and stand on the edge of the pal block and just get enough of a run to go up and kind of arc backwards. Shit, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> God. I would have even just got killed by the kid. <laughs> this be real funny. That's one of those moments, so let me just do a little section while I... Regain my composure. So, about the first time I grabbed the Goomba, 
because by I didn't know how the door system was going to work, but if you don't grab that Goomba on your way in, you're pretty much screwed because a small Mario, you're not going to be able. If you're a bigger Mario, you can bash through the, the yellow blocks. So. First time on Twitter, someone called me Danny Scoops. So I'll favorite that. All right. That's a historic moment. <laughs> That's a real dumb name. <laughs> Might need to alter my APW character before I debut. <laughs> it's too good. God, it's dumb. Do something dumb, Patrick. Give me, give me another moment of joy before this is over. I didn't know you didn't expect him to die there. <laughs> That's genuine, genuine anger there. <laughs> How did he even die in those spikes? I just looked away for one second. He just he jumped over a thing and he wanted to grab the piece switch and he just <laughs> right. Best night of my life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Technology is pretty cool. Look at all this. Look at this dumb thing that's happening. This is great. And somehow, like, charity's getting thousands of dollars off this dumb bullshit. This is the best case scenario for everyone involved. Think if someone from the 50s saw this. Oh, yeah. I'm just so many to... inconceivable things. <laughs> trying to explain this to my father, Ruby. He's 51. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, Patrick. You can't go to bed now, Pat. <laughs> I love how you're keeping everyone else up, too. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Actually, yeah. Look at this last talk to this guy. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, I want this to last forever. So sharp. It feels like it went deeper in your skin, deeper in your flesh and mm -mm. blood, mm -mm. that it went to your very soul. No. That it took <laughs> something away from you in the process. Oh. You're probably pretty sleepy, Patrick Quapic. Go I don't want to go close my eyes. Count some sheep and drift off to Quepic Dreamland. <laughs> that's what Quepic and Dreamland. Oh, God, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> but here's what's so hard. Here is what is hard. Quepic Dreamland. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna beat it, Patrick. You are. There are, there are no more puzzles. No, there you no figured it out. Puzzles. What am I supposed to do? Is just, this misdirection? Just beat it, Patrick. Am I doing the right thing? Is literally now. I have a full day to just do one run. Oh. To just get one way to the end. Are you giving up for tonight? To just hear Mario sing his praises. You can't give up now, Patrick. Know that he has made it to the end. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> These screen caps. We'll be on the other side of that. Like a little unhinged in a couple of weeks. Love. It's weird. Acceptance. <laughs> that is life. Chicago Bears team with potential winning record. <laughs> People want me to change my Twitter bio to Danny Scoops. I'm not doing that. Let me see if that Twitter handle is taken. That'll be my my news account. There is a Danny Scoops. What? 
There's many. They tweeted twice. Okay, here's the at Danny Scoops account. On May 14th, 2011, Danny Scoops, at Danny Scoops, tweeted, Hi. Lowercase, no punctuation. July 16th, two months later, 2011, tweeted at M. Vessel the word bitch with no, uh, no capitalization, no punctuation whatsoever. That's the entire Danny Scoops account. Joined in March of 2009, waited over two years to tweet his first hi. That's my scoop. That's a Danny Scoop for you. You got Danny Scooped. <laughs> I could get into that. <laughs> Man, that sucks that some random idiot just took the Twitter handle. Oh, no. uh, <sighs> well, Call Danny yourself scoops. there, Mario. Call my fans and scoop through. Oh, God, it's already started. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he was reading the chat, he would have no idea what the hell is happening. Oh, no. no. <laughs> How are we peeking at Periscope viewers at this time of night? Jesus Christ. What is he got? I can't see. Somewhere? It said earlier, it said like whatever down there. Oh, Emotional hobo asks, I know it's San Francisco, but there's no way Dan's roommate could have expected this, right? Ah, Brian's known me for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> you, knew, you knew what you signed up for. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 5200 for Patrick. 2100 for the Periscope. This is dumb. Oh, Condoleezza Rice is in the chat. Great. She's a big Twitch fan. Yeah, Twitch giant bomb. She's in all of it. Oh, yeah. Cute. Emotional Hobo asking if you were Brian Shea. Are you Brian Shea? No. <laughs> Brian Boer. How would you like to live with Brian Shea? I've always got along with Brian Shea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're here, Patrick. You're here. Fuck! Alright. We're here. See this? This is what I intended. I intended for you to have to bring the thing through and then go up and come back into that block. So if you want to use the key block so you can destroy the Goomba, so that you can get by yourself as much time to line up the exit. Mm. You actually can't go through it. You're going to have to hit the course uh, end gate. Please fuck up in a hilarious way. Give me another. Give me that hit. <laughs> you really delivered last time. Ah. Oh god, he's so close. <laughs> It makes a funny noise, too. <laughs> 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 he hates it so much. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling. Oh my god.
god, my stomach is fucking hurting. <laughs> These are my nerves. And my fingers getting the better of me for having done this for as long as I have. I've been watching this for like fucking four hours or however long it's been going. Oh my god. I think it's 7.30. Okay, like a little over three hours. Oh. Oh, this is the best. The Scoops God? I'm sorry, call me the Scoop God. So the hoop god, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. I can't imagine me not drinking this. I like the idea of me developing a new character that's just like super serious game journalist. <laughs> Hard nose. Danny Scoops. <laughs> Hard nose. Yeah. Game journalist. <laughs> right now, my mission. Is <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> Gotta develop this. So I had the right strategy right now. Get rid of the, uh, <laughs> get rid of the Goomba, um, use that to, uh, what are you, what's the problem? Oh, we lost connection? Uh oh. <sighs> Scoop. And my neuroses is actually what uh, hit me in the ass thing because. Just gotten a notification that someone liked my achievement. I wonder if that's a new thing with the. Yeah, I haven't even had a chance to check out the new dashboard or whatever because it fucking uploaded while I was going to Taco Bell tonight. Yeah, it's, it's, that is weird. And, you know, I, I really should have uh, you know, not worried about it so much because. I will uh, immediately turn off that thing, but anytime someone likes my achievement. That it seems to kind of slot 6,000 viewers? Holy uh, you'll, shit. You'll notice when I've, uh... I got a piece. Let me, I'm going to put a, I'm going to sub in. Don't you do There you go. It's my substitute where I pee. You're real good at that. Yep, that's, that's me. That's Danny Scoops there. Someone added you as a friend. Oh yeah, everyone's adding you as a friend. Let me guess, now that I mentioned that notification, 8,000 people are sending me things that are going to give me notifications, right? Yeah, everyone wants to be a friend. Alright. Yep, that's going to be going on all night. <laughs> <laughs> yep, alright. Got to text, my girlfriend is watching this. I apologize. I said that we could probably watch this tomorrow, but I think that Patrick is going to beat this uh, tonight. So I apologize to my girlfriend. We're just going to have to play Yoshi. Oh, God. This friend stuff is not going to turn off. I can probably turn that notification thing off while he's doing this and not lose anything, right? Yeah, he's, I can do this now. I gotta find, let me find where the notification thing is on this new fucking dash. This is a great time to be figuring out how this shit works. I understand how the internet works, and I know if I don't fix this now, this is going to be happening all night. Uh, settings. Oh my god. Of course it's a brand new operating system, so you have yeah. no idea where the shit is. It's great timing, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this. Uh... I appreciate this. Like this is a good trolling. It was good. Like they're yeah. Yeah, good work. Pretty solid. Yeah, I completely understand. 
Um, I'd probably turn off new followers. Is one new friend? I need to. I want to turn off. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, messages? Is it technically a message if someone adds you as a friend? How about I just turn off all notifications? <laughs> Let's just do just that. Just for now. Yeah. Good work, though, Internet. That's just what I would have done. Oh, God, he's right there. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, here we are. Okay, this here is, we got, this is, That would have been really stupid if you were oh. messing around that he beat the level. <laughs> but you know what? The, the Internet would have won. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? What did he do? He kicked the, the block and it blew up. <laughs> 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 pause it. Did he pause while he was holding the P block? Yeah. Dumb move. Don't do that. My fingers on the button. <laughs> <laughs> you came back just at the right time. Oh, that's beautiful. <sighs> oh. That's like everyone's like. I'm sorry. That I that is a deeply regrettable decision I made. seeing all these oh god I get to see all these tweet gifts of Patrick fucking up this is great right. the best game playing on the internet you come here because you want the inside track that's him kicking the power block how does a man let go oops <laughs> wow live in front of you 7,000 yeah. yes I was good to oh this is when he just ran into that spike and it made a oh, that one. yeah it's a good one that one that's okay. I don't know if that GIF is working. We're playing great. Let's We're see, doing it probably super is. Super well. Okay, here we go. We've had a bunch Perfectly of great fun. Perfectly placed, and then just ran right in the spikes. How to play the game? Super <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Have you played Super Mario before? Did you know that he jumps? Did you know this game has music notes? They're the most <laughs> fan favorite. In an internet poll at GameFacts.com, owned by CBS, fans said, we love music notes. Why aren't there more music notes in video games? Specifically, Mario video games. Specifically, this level. Disappointing. Could be done better in the sequel. More music notes. What the fuck? What is he talking about? I'm just like half listening to him right now. I think his mind is unraveling. <sighs> Me too, Patrick. He lost 20 pounds during the last three hours of his stream. <laughs> Can you tell that he's not talking to himself in the third person as though he's narrating a biography? He's like The Rock. I can't. He can't stop playing because he's not gonna be able to sleep. I can't stop watching because I can't miss it when he beats it. That, that's the only option. He beats it, or what? We're up all night. Like I can't picture. I don't know if his brain works. I know his brain doesn't work the same way mine does, but I know I would not be able to fucking sleep. There's no way I could sleep. Just lay in bed, stare at the ceiling. I can fucking beat that. It could all be over if I just do it tonight. It's not really 
infuriating to think back on those two easy mess ups. You only got the, the door the one time. Yeah, he's only made it there the one time. And that's a tough thing. Like, I died several times. Like, you gotta hold left, but you gotta really kind of pull back at the end there. Not you died several times just to play like the very, very, very end where you were right at the Oh, yeah. I died numerous times. That was one of the things where I told my girlfriend, that, like, uh, I need to change that. I need to make that, like, solid blocks on the left side. I need to, like, not have that be spikes. It's too hard. And she was like, no. I've seen you do it before. You can do it. And I was like, ah, I can't do it all in the same run. That's way too hard and I'm really tired. She's like, no. You can do it. I've seen you do it. I was like, all right. I can't disappoint my girlfriend. I gotta do this. And then, yeah, she pushed me. Like, I totally would not have done it without her. Yes. Look, Mario. I'm sure where you yeah. think you got this idea. You can't get up there with your cake. Well, get up there. And also, who loves the music in this stage? <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's great. I've never seen it. Patrick, that's fucking salty. That's that familiar theme. I wish they had those stupid little green parrots from Mario World. Remember in these levels, there'd be the parrots that just kind of hung out on the top? And then when you walk too close, they'd... Oh, yeah. Remember when they would have a little like line of dots behind them when they, they swing down? Huh. It's the first time in Donut Plains with one of these. Man, no, Mario World's so good. Kind of I could be playing real ass Mario World, world on my gamepad right now. Yeah. That's a much better, a much more enjoyable experience so, than playing this level. Skype? Anyone have Cody's Skype name? Yeah, I think. I'm sure you got a piano around. Did you ever try like the real like Japanese Mario 2? The Lost Levels? Yeah. Yeah, they're ridiculous. They're so goddamn hard. Those are like all damn levels, basically. It requires way more just like precise platforming stuff. Like, man, Lost Levels. Ha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to bed. At least in the U.S., we are like the earliest of everyone. We appear to have uh, oh, God, no serious There is a Danny Scoops Twitter account now. It's not at Danny Scoops. It's The Scoop God. D A Scoop G A W D. Yep. That's, here's the profile picture for Danny Scoops. Yep. All right. He seems to be promoting the Reikening quite a bit. As part of a charity so he doesn't react Patrick anymore. Patrick He's dead inside. If you want to spam something out in the chat, spam that link. Uh, we are uh, raising money. Uh, Listen to him here. I'm against everything he says with this uh, thing, and, except uh, for this. And, uh, and brain research uh, related to like anxiety and depression. Uh, two great causes. Uh, if I uh, beat the stage, then the money goes to the Car Association. Uh, if I am defeated by uh, Dan, Dirty Dan Riker. Uh, then uh, it goes to his charity. Uh, Danny Another, Scoops, better. Uh, some great organizations um, get a uh, get a nice fat check thanks to the, the, the incredible uh, contributions of the community uh, from Giant Bomb, uh, from here, uh, from Kotaku, all around. A ton of great folks have uh, been chipping in uh, for you know for my suffering. You you know if I'm going to suffer through this. The thing he doesn't understand, like we worked together for, I mean, we technically worked together. He was in Chicago, I was in San Francisco for like six months, five months. He doesn't know me well enough to know. I have all the patience in the world if it's just fucking with someone. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I will make these levels until I'm fucking 70 if I have to. Until I'm in the fucking grave. Until I get him to look at the camera and say I quit. Like, I won't stop it. You and Juba are similar in that way. There are people I haven't talked to in 10 years that I used to give shit to all the time that I will still occasionally text when I'm drunk to give them shit. And they've, they've not responded for like a decade. 
and I will still send it to them. Nah. <laughs> God damn it. He does not know my persistence with this. What's that? 7,000 people are watching Patrick Cheese. Uh, celebrates some great video games. Uh, and just have uh, a lot of fun. Uh, albeit, right now, at the, the expense of uh, that's the video game. Well, someone said number 10 video on Twitch. Wow, really? Jesus. Sanity. Good feelings. Good vibes. Good vibration. Oh, Greg Miller is tweeting out a support for Patrick Klepik here. Hmm, okay. Okay, let's see where he stands. Hmm. hmm. All right, all right, Miller. Hasn't beat it yet. I want Patrick to make a level. I want to see what he's capable of. I don't. I don't think Patrick has it in him to make anything even remotely like twenty five percent of what I can do, which is bullshit reflecting on people. He's not that kind of guy. He can't do it. People in the chat talking about view botting. What is view botting? I don't even know what view botting means. People accused my sister of that when she was like Twitch streaming or whatever. I'd be like, oh, view botting. I don't know what the fuck that is. I think it's like paying for viewers or something on Twitch or something. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't really fuck around on Twitch much at all. Whoa, the gamepad! What are you doing? <laughs> I believe, I do believe that. The gamepad took over. I believe that. That has happened to me. To tell me to go to bed. No, it's not, Patrick. Not happening. Not <laughs> happening, gamepad. All right. I'm just close. That's the not spirit. Feel it. Yes. That's what's in my blood. Feel the hatred, Patrick. <laughs> this is like the lamest version of the end of Return of the Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said in the chat that like the winner gets the rights to the nickname Scoops. This reminds me, I'm trying to remember in WCW, Booker T around 2000 or 2001, right near the end of WCW, feuded with someone over the use of T, to where if he lost, he was just Booker. But I can't remember who else would use T. But yeah, it's like some pay per view match. Like, oh, whoever wins gets to use this letter. Gets to use T. I gotta look that up. God damn it, what was that? And That's yeah. dumb. Every once Sounds while, the game just goes. I don't know. I'm not really feeling the connection with the Wii U over there. Oh, is it with Stevie Ray? Is Ahmed Johnson? Are you serious? Oh, wow. Big T. Wow, Stevie Ray and Ahmed Johnson called themselves Harlem Heat 2000. Booker T was referred to simply as Hook, Hooker, Booker as Harlem Heat, that's why I was thinking age, 2000 won the rights to the name T in a match with Big T against Booker at Super Brawl 10. That's dumb. <laughs> Seriously, we gotta watch some like 2000, 2001 WCW. It is the worst. Totally. Totally. You get such in the habit. You going to bed? Yes, I am. Alright. I don't have a steak in this. You got, you got earplugs? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I wouldn't, uh. Alright, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, I'm doing work out here. All right. All right. See you tomorrow. 
All right, it's just me and you, Chad. Who is the movie guy who won the WCW belt? That would be David Arquette. I am I'm not leaving this. I might have to leave the couch to pee or get drinks or something. But I am awake until this is over. Until he gives up. Let's die again. That was great. Oh, he hates it so much. Uh, or he beats it. So it won't be bad at all if he beats it. Like, I, I can't possibly lose in this situation. He's going to beat it. I've accepted that. He's going to give the money to charity anyway. Your connection with the Wii U is unstable. Your connection with the Wii U is unstable. Speaking of Wii U, I know you youngsters out there, that you like your Let's Plays and your Twitches and your YouTubes, you might not have been alive when this game was out. Oh, I hit a damn thing. There we go. That's one of the best goddamn video games of all time. It's still incredible today, even if you're not old. It is the best. It's on the Wii U eShop. Seriously, play this game. Uh, it is definitely one of the games that really, really made me love this series. So download it. I think it's like eight bucks or something. And play through it. Try to 100% it. It's fucking amazing. It's great. 16-bit. 16-bit age better than any other generation for sure. 8-bit was a little too limited as far as what they could do with the, the pixels and the sprites and everything. 16-bit, uh, Length of the Past, Super Metroid, everything just looks fucking gorgeous. The gameplay was still great. And then everything past it, you know, early 32, 64-bit was just so fucking like we're trying to figure out how to do 3D and it looks like garbage now. Play Super Mario World if you're one of them YouTube youngsters. I am feeling great about it. Because I know the end is in sight no matter what. I just want to do it now. Sleep on. So Mario World fucking came with a Super Nintendo. Talk about a goddamn pack in. It's incredible. Look at that. I got My Genesis came with Pat Riley basketball. That's not nearly as good as Super Mario World. Weird, I see someone in Periscope say everyone there is pushing 30. Like, I don't know, I just always assume with like YouTube and uh, and Twitch and stuff. And it's a bunch of 14 year olds or something. I don't know. It's weird, demographics are different depending on what uh, outlet you're at, what uh, what format you're using to stream stuff out or whatever. Okay, it's cool seeing all these ages in the chat here. All right, up to mid 20s. Got some, some guys in the 30s like me. <laughs> someone says, I'm definitely 17. <laughs> not made it back to the okay, alright. Huh, very cool. Got some damn adults in this chat. Probably the game's not even on the game. Well, the game is Okay, we got people in Patrick's chat too. Huh. I'm kind of surprised. It looks like the median is, is right around like. 29, 28, or something. It's interesting. My battery, I got it fucking plugged in. Let me check. I don't want to risk. This has got to be charging right. Is someone charging? All right, seriously, I want to thank everyone for uh, for joining us same tonight. This has been super duper fun. I know it's a late night and everything, but this is a, a silly fun thing. You can't really make happen every week, um, so I'm super glad you guys are here to, to join us. This has been a, a real blast. Are we close to seventy five hundred bucks? Are you serious? Holy shit, guys! Yeah, we're like at seventy five hundred bucks. When you add in me and Patrick's, like we're over seventy five hundred. This may be reaching the end, so this is actually the most important thing. Here's me being as serious as I can be. If you can, no pressure or anything. We've got that GoFundMe.com slash The Reckoning. Um, both of our both of our charities are, are really good causes. Um, Patrick's almost certainly going to win. Um, so yeah, if you donate, like 100% of the pot is going towards the American Heart Association. If if he wins, uh, Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. If I win, both good causes. Um, if, if you have any interest in getting one in. We may be getting near the end of it. So, uh, yeah, GoFundMe.com slash The Reckoning. And seriously, thanks to everyone. I see 400 people have, have donated in the last three days, and that's fantastic. Like, it's super fun watching 
Patrick have, have trouble with all this and everything, but it, it's great knowing this is all actually going towards something other than me, you know, just getting my kicks. Fuck with them. So, thank you so much. Genuinely. That's great. Oh, wow. How old is Brad? I think he's in uh, North Carolina now. He's celebrating his 19th birthday. Favorite late 90s wrestler? I mean, favorite wrestler ever, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, he died again. Weird. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin is my favorite wrestler of all time. And uh, he was... Definitely late 90s. Oh, that, was, that was prime C Boston, so it's got to be him. That makes me feel like complete garbage. Chiefs fan. Yeah, I watched the Chiefs all the time growing up. Once I moved to Minnesota for the game and former gig, I uh, couldn't really see the Chiefs regularly, so I kind of dropped off. So don't really watch a lot of football now. Watch the playoffs and Super Bowl, but I was a Chiefs fan my whole life. Chiefs and Packers. Current favorite wrestler, I mean, if I, current, current, like, the New Day is the best part of, uh, of the show every week, uh, except for Xavier Woods, he's no good. Um, overall in recent years, eh, you know, like everyone, I love Cesaro, Kevin Owens is great, um, Sasha Banks, Jesus Christ, Sasha Banks is amazing. I've been to Duluth. Yes, I have. Love Giant Bomb, hate wrestling. Sorry I bring up wrestling so much. Dan, what is 7 times 35? Hang on, I'm going to figure this out. Let me mute this. 7, seven times 35. I'm going to think about this. 7 times 30 would be 210. 7 times 5 is 35. So, uh, shit, what was it? Seven? God damn it, the chat went past and I, I lost track. Fuck, what was it? Seven times thirty. God damn it, if I saw what the fucking equation was, I could have figured it out. Seven times thirty-five? Wait and see if someone says well, people are saying the answer now. Seven times thirty-five, okay. Two ten is seven times thirty. Uh seven times thirty-five. And then seven times five is thirty-five. So two hundred and forty-five? Two hundred and forty-five. Seven times thirty-five. Be 245. Is that right? Check well, that. If you guys aren't giving up on the GoFundMe, then I ain't giving up on you for playing. Is that so right? So you can make it to 8,000, huh? Seven times. You haven't donated? Times. Yeah. Think Ooh. about giving a couple of bucks. I like math. I like the Patrick's not giving up. Let's get those donations while we can here. Obvious we're uh, reaching the end here. You. You and Mr. Cherry. Oh my god, I see Chad asking about a, a supercut of all of Patrick's deaths. I would love that. What is it? Are we like 400? I can't. I can't answer your questions. The multitasking that is occurring right now between me talking and playing is more than enough to keep me occupied. It's been really cool seeing how many people have uh, have jumped on to the donations and everything here and the, the tweets and everything. Like, I don't know, this is fantastic. Late for me. 
these days. I'm going to bed at like fucking 10.30 lately. You know, it's this interesting battle of attrition to where also, uh, I can tell I'm starting to get really drunk and tired. Is, uh, the mods that we have in chat, they're dealing with the scale of people uh, talking and Sorry, dealing that is unheard of. Uh, for the amount of people I recruited to uh, handle that for my uh, channel originally, so uh, this is a pretty special occasion, so props to them for uh, being such a Another thing I've got on Patrick here is that I'm a veteran of, uh, I have two Guinness World Records. It's been 30, 30 hours playing Smash Brothers for the longest fighting game marathon record. Since then broken, so I don't currently hold that. But I still hold the longest Mario Marathon record by playing 50 straight hours of Mario. Uh, that, I, I don't, there might be a Twitch, like we had, we were recording that whole thing and streaming that whole thing, but I don't know if there's a Twitch archive of that. But there's definitely, there's a documentary, I'm going to mute so you can hear me. Um, we did the first Guinness World Record thing I did, the one I set up with the, the fighting game marathon. Uh, it was for the Smash Brothers thing. We played it for 30 straight hours. And uh, Ben Hansen, his video guy, game informer, great, weird dude, uh, he made a documentary of the whole thing. And it's, I think it's like an hour, a little, between an hour and an hour and a half long. It's on YouTube. I think if you just search for Smashed Guinness... Uh, you'll find it, and I really, I really think it's a really, really good thing he did. It's it's a fantastic, fantastic documentary. It's an hour and uh, nine minutes long, and it just kind of covers, uh, you know, when we sort of set up the Guinness thing and everything, and I had Guinness people fly out. First time we tried that stuff, and it was, it was a hell of an experience. It was awesome. It's, it's kind of why I'm looking forward to the Extra Life thing, because it's been a while since I've done the marathon thing. Um, but yeah, I, I can't push that, uh, you know, out of all the, there's plenty of stuff in Game Informer I thought was really fun, silly videos and stuff, but, uh, that smashed documentary, that's one of the best things that came out of that five years I was there, so, check it out if you get a chance. Someone just said 8,500 bucks? Oh, that's so fucking cool. Man, that's, warms my damn heart saying that. I see $8,504 raised by 476 people. Man, that's, that's really cool. Extra Life this year, that is... I have that on my calendar. Bah, I'm not gonna... Google it, I don't know. It's soon. It's within the next month or so. Man, I don't ever really drink during the week anymore, so this is a special occasion here. Now I don't even drink on the weekends nearly as much. I used to, every Friday and Saturday night, I had to go out and do something, get silly. Not so much lately. I'll be fine tomorrow, I'll be on over. It's all worth it. People in my periscope saying this is the run. Entirely possible. Ever had High West whiskey? No, I have not. I was always an old crow guy. Went through college. It's like eight dollars for a liter of Kansas. God damn it! Hmm. I know what he's going through. He he is now at the point that I was at at like two o'clock in the morning on Friday night. 
where it's, you know exactly what you need to do. You know every step of the way what you got to do. It's down to a science. But God damn it. It's just like you, you get tired. You make dumb mistakes. You get greedy. I know exactly what he's going through. I haven't had Pluto. He's not even had a chance to, to make it go with the... Uh, so he, he, I mean, that's what's terrifying, right? Uh, is I've had a couple of opportunities to... Is it always a puzzle hellscape, or did it start off as a purely skill-based level? So it started... Um, came back... It was Thursday night or something. I started it. And uh, I was just so kind of into the idea that uh, I learned from that community one of the POW block is a key to get into the floating door. And, uh, sorry, it's throwing me off. I'm, I'm sure it's terrible listening to these blocks at the same time, so I'm muting Patrick. Um, uh, the idea of using a POW block as a key to get into the door, like you have to carry this thing to here to get in here. I mean, since Mario, Mario World and Mario games in general outside of like the keys to get to the star world never really did that that just made me start thinking about that constantly and it's like okay so i'm going to build it so i i started the level so here's the very beginning and i scrolled the whole thing out to the edge and said okay here's the end and okay so what do you need the pow block to get into and so i made those doors up there floating and i was like all right we're starting with pow block at the beginning pow block at the end and like right at the beginning one of the first things i made was that little spike pit thing with the cannon that shot the power blocks. And I was like, all right, now I'm gonna fill in everything in the middle and figure out what you have to do. And pretty early on, I was like, okay, I need to make, I'll make this series of coins leading up there that if you hit on your first try, it kind of fucks you over going back, which is fucked because if you play Mario, your instinct is just to get coins. Even in like Mario Maker or worse, like the coins don't actually like, it's not like lives carry over or anything. Um, there's no reason to go for the coins, but anyone who's played Mario forever is like, oh, i got to get those. Um, so you, you know what I'm saying. Like, it, w it would take away the bridge. Um, and then I just kind of filled things in more and more. And I remember I was playing, um, originally it wasn't the Goomba up there in the ice blocks. It was a trampoline. And I can't remember what it was when I was finishing the level or building it uh, with my girlfriend here. And there's some problem with the trampoline. Because like, if you had two trampolines, it could fuck something up at the end. And my girlfriend said something like, could you do a Koopa Troopa? And I was like, oh, I guess maybe I could. But then I, I think I realized that well, with the Koopa Troopa in Mario World, if you jump on it, once it sends the Koopa out, uh, it's just a shell. And you don't have to do anything with it. You just carry it. Patrick just died. That's great. Um, but a shell is easy to just carry around. And I realized, like, holy shit, the Goombas in Mario World specifically, you can carry... And they will come back to life. They do the little leg kick thing and they come to life. And I didn't know if you could kick them up and knock blocks or kill enemies or whatever. So I spawned a Goomba and, uh, yeah, I kicked the thing up. And I was like, oh, shit, that totally works. And I realized, like, oh, God, now you'd have to fucking juggle that thing the whole way. And it was a nightmare, but I, I knew it was the, the right choice there. So, yeah, originally it was a trampoline, but thanks to my girlfriend, it turned into a Goomba. Um... And yeah, the rest of it was kind of filled in, and at one point, I, I think this might have been Jeff's idea when I was telling him about this uh, level, where he was like, you should just make like a big platforming thing that's for no reason. And that's when I was like, oh, let's, I just need to do a whole sub-level where there's nothing. And, and I, I love that he, at least in the first day or whatever, he was confused by it and actually like tried to figure out what was going on down there. But yeah, the entire, entire sub-level is a total red herring. There's, there's nothing down there of use. The crazy thing that people did was... Okay, so here's an exploit I found. I'll explain this here. Sorry, I'm kind of drunk. I'll, I'll do my best here. Somebody found out that since the thing you need at the end is a POW block, I built that sub-level to where you had to do all those music block jumps over the lava, and there's the fucking piranha plants and the dry bones, and there's so much shit. I intended that to be completely impossible. And then at the end, if you happen to get to it, there is a question mark block with a POW block in it. To make people think like, holy shit, I got this thing, now I gotta get it back. My intention was to make it impossible to get back up the pipe and go back to the main world with the uh, the power block. And um, somebody found this insane way to actually get it back up. If you go down the pipe with a P-switch and a cape, 
there's the part where you saw Patrick, uh, he knocked out some of those yellow blocks with the cape. If you brought the P-block down and you step on it, all of those turn into coins. And if you collect those, they don't come back. There's no block, there's no coin, there's no anything. And so this guy brought a cape and a P-block down, hit it, collected all the coins, and then kept the cape and bounced the entire way to the end, got the POW block, went all the way back, and since those blocks weren't there anymore, and the coins had been collected and they weren't coming back, that gave you enough space to get a flying jump. So the guy holding the P switch that still had the cape was able to fly it up through the pipe and bring it to the end. Which that was the one I referred to earlier. It was like, man, I, I fucking like, I almost want to keep that in because that's so crazy and so hard to do. But I don't know, I was so obsessed with just making sure like, you know, this was the way to do it. So that, that was one of the exploits I had to patch, but I, that guy who did that, like, that's fucking amazing. Or, god damn it. Guys, we're getting close to ten thousand goddamn dollars. That's amazing. Man. The internet is capable of some real cool things. The fact that I can try to fuck with this guy on Mario and then there's nine thousand dollars going to charity, if not more. That's uh that's a real cool thing. I like that a lot. Alright, here we go again. This is gonna be a close one. Someone asking about uh, how my Star Trek Next Generation doing is going. Um it is stalled because I'm currently trying to beat my girlfriend's uh, Pac-Man 256 score. So instead of watching Star Trek on the elliptical lately, I've been playing Pac-Man 256 on the stationary bike. So once I beat my girlfriend's score, which is ludicrous, she uh, oh, well, she will have to beat mine, and while she's working on that, I can, uh, I can get back to Star Trek. But I'm near the end of Season 3, I think. All right, Patrick, do it. Could be it. And this could be it. I can't even tell if I'm rooting for him at this point. Because I know he's going to beat it. I mean, it's going to be really funny if he dies. But eh, it's only 11.30. I'm fine. I'm not even like super drunk or anything. I'll be fine. I could, I could watch this for a few more hours. If, if need be. There you go. This is it. He's got a hold, the holding left thing is really tough. I'd say there's a one in three chance he gets it this time. It's very possible. 33% chance. I mean, he's got this. Oh, he's going to carry it through? Oh, don't spoil the. Just silently starts another run. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. As he landed on that yellow block, I thought, there we go. It's done. Like, because out of all the times I landed on that, like, I, I had never died from the flame jets or the Goombas. 
And I was like, oh, that's the easy gimme. It just scares you with the Goomba and the fire. I had a feeling that never happened. Oh, my God. Oh, I had it. Not like connected with it, but... Oh. I can't believe that. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, no. Patrick, Patrick. He was literally pixels away from the exit. I almost feel bad now. <laughs> I would like to go to bed. Uh, he's two hours later. I don't know what the hell his work schedule is like. I don't know what these YouTube kids do. But, uh, man, I bet he'd like to go to bed. Tweets about that last day. Okay. So, as we continue our lessons, in which, when we have, when we have our deaths, we, we talk about what happens. Uh, so, I don't think the fall itself is too difficult. I'm and I'm so drunk. Um, you don't want to mess with me, boy. Obviously, I'm the whole left is too much. I'm back with weapons, and I'm so drunk. Out, oh, my God. So that's a, that part seems like pretty negotiable. Um, even the part that I screwed up. I wish I could look at the tape. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't get literally. I can't push Fob Wash Twitter enough because he does amazing gifts of like this whole um, thing. It's been great. Uh, but also, uh, just Giant Bomb in general, he's always doing great gifts. Uh, it's FOB, F-O-B, washed. Like you just washed your, uh, your jeans or whatever. Too late or did I go too early? Man. Um, apparently the GoFundMe is, someone just donated $500. We have hit 94. Someone just donated 500 I don't. Are you serious? We're at 94.09 before he's going to do the 100, I'm going to do the 100. Wait, no, he won. So I guess I'm already expected to do the 100. I was going to do the 100 if I lost, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, so at least 95.09. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, $500 anonymous donation. I will echo what Patrick is saying here. That's. Fantastic. Ten thousand dollars. That's over at GoFundMe.com slash Likening. Uh, that's what this uh, stream has been all about. Uh, it's about me trying to beat Dan Riker. It's about us trying to raise money uh, for uh, two great causes. You can find more information over at uh, GoFundMe.com slash Likening. Now, people asking, uh, well, what happens if you beat the stage, right? We will keep the we'll keep the funding open. The funding was supposed to be open for yeah. two hours, so um, it might take twenty four for this archive to spit out onto YouTube. So uh, that, that is not something that's going to change, no matter what the uh, the outcome is. Uh, of, uh, however long it continues to be streamed. Okay, I need to when I get to those sections, I got to stop talking. Make sure that I think everyone's in the same spot right now. Like me, him, the chat, everyone's just like, all right, we're ready to go to bed here. Charities uh, that we've got set up is the, uh, the American Heart Association and the, again, we'll never remember it, um, but a, uh, another charity that, that is involved in uh, uh, 
studying matters of the brain. Um, that was put by uh, Dan uh, Riker. Uh, he was going to talk about his struggles with anxiety and anxiety over Zoom is falling uh, and depression. Uh, the American Heart Association uh, high pitch because uh, uh, the Colts family in particular has been struck over the years by a number of uh, unfortunate heart attacks, including my father. Father's father um, and uh, my mom's father, so uh, that is something that, you know deeply concerns me because uh, <laughs> not a great track record for the, the corporate family. Um, so that's uh, you know when I, I'm always when I've got some spare change, the American Heart Association is definitely uh, always something that uh, I keep in mind. Thanks, Patrick, for, uh, like, it was uh, his idea. Like, I, I threw down the uh, the YouTube thing, like, the $100 thing, uh, the charity thing or whatever, and we texted about it for a while, and he was like, hey, you know, if we're going to do this, let's let's do it. Let's set up a page, and uh, let's let's raise money for this thing. And so Patrick set up a page and everything, and so huge thanks to him, you know. All uh, fun rivalry stuff aside, like, I, I think it's really cool that he did this because, yeah, ten thousand goes a lot farther than a uh, hundred. So that's, uh, but obviously every dollar counts. So to everyone who's donated, thank you so much. Like that's that's really cool. Thank you. Back to the serious stuff. I see a question on Periscope saying, "What should I get from Taco Bell? Uh, chicken quesadilla every time? Cheesy gordita crunch?" Uh, a good option is the cheesy roll-up or a double-decker taco with nacho cheese. Uh, Mexican pizza is very good. But definitely get the chicken quesadilla. That's number one. Ninety-eight, nineteen. We have. That's crazy. Someone in Patrick's chat saying, I've never tried chips and guac. Oh, I love chips and guac. It's real good. That's the funny thing. It's because you show up on podcasts enough, and you talk enough into a microphone or on a camera, as I do, uh, and, and you tell enough stories. I, I'm always, you know, there's a, a silly story or something. I have no shame with that stuff. I'll always tell it. Um, but it's so funny seeing the ones that just, like, I don't even know where you're pulling that from. Like, I didn't say that. Like, yeah, you know, there's a million silly food stories or whatever. People are like, oh, I heard Dan's never seen a, he's never seen grapes. It's like, well, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I love grapes. Um, but yeah, it's fun seeing what the internet spins out into whatever they want to. I got, I'm still getting low battery. Uh, I hope the stream doesn't die here. Let me, uh, if it does, I will come back. I'm just getting, like, low battery stuff while I'm plugged in. I think I'm at, like, 3% battery on my, uh, on my iPad, even though it's plugged in and charging, apparently. I guess Periscope. Well, you know what? Let's take, uh, let's take the brightness down. We don't need all that brightness. There we go. Let's do that. I heard Dan's never been inside a Walmart. That is the biggest lie I've ever heard. I spent a whole lot of time in Walmarts. I feel like I'm... I've slept in Walmart. I'm trying to think of that. No, what in the Wii? Slept outside Best Buys for the PS2 launch. So we're at 95th and Quivira in Overland Park. It was raining. October 26, 2000. And I got a PS2. I slept outside of Best Buy in college for Xbox 360. And I passed out drunk because we all brought flasks. And then all my friends were chewing up sunflower seeds and throwing the shells at my face. And there's a picture of me passed out in a lawn chair in front of a Best Buy with chewed up sunflower seeds stuck all over my face. Uh, and then... I feel like I slept inside of a Walmart for something. I went to a Walmart to interview people that were waiting outside for a Wii when I worked for a newspaper. Or I slept inside of Walmart at some point. Is 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are at nine thousand eight hundred and seventy-two dollars. But only on the second one. Right there. This could be the front. I could make a worse level. There's always a worse level. This could be it. This totally could be it. I mean, it'd be funny if it wasn't, but I'm ready for it. <laughs> I don't have anything to say here. He did it. He totally beat it. <laughs> Sweet release, baby. Woo! Donkey Conga. More like Donkey Spark You, Dan. I don't even have a way to It's a good one. That's good. One. We're both tired, Patrick. It's fine. Oh, here is to me. Here's to me. It's to you. Here's to you. Here's to the money we've raised. <laughs> oh, here's the sweet victory. Three, two, one. Mm. My God. We passed ten thousand. Oh, it's at ten thousand seven dollars. Plus my hundred. You know what, Dan? I ain't no fucking baby. I ain't no fucking baby. Okay. And we've hit 10K. We've hit 10K at GoFundMe.com. You know what? Before I go, before I go any further, I see something here on the screen. I see a, I see a star. You motherfucker. See a star. Give me the star. And you know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna star. Patrick, I spent a lot of time on this level. Nothing. Patrick, deserves no respect. A lot of thought went into that. No kudos. A lot of time. Deserves no stars. You know what it did deserve? Someone with respect. Someone with an ounce of decency. Someone willing to get along in society. Someone acceptable to defeat that stage. Dan Reichert, you accepted my challenge. I accepted. Your challenge. In this, you set the terms. In this, you set up your own loss. Here's what I propose. Oh. This is the end of this. I didn't know about this. This is We're new. We're stopping this for now. Okay. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to be in San Francisco. I'm going to be there a couple days early for a wedding. You and me, okay. mano y mano. One on one, someone else picks the stages. We play the stages at the same time. We see who does better. We see who can win. We see who the true Mario Maker Master is. Live at Giant Bomb onto your home turf. So we don't make you it. You came on mine. You disrespected okay. me. Now I'm coming to yours. Okay. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> and now I'm going to call you a pet. They let you curse on YouTube? All right, he's calling me. Hmm. Hmm. This was not a planned thing, just so folks know there.
Oh wait, I need to, I need to log in there, Mr. Klepek. Hang on. Logging in, sir. Well, he can't see me. Why am I holding up my fingers? Ah, shit. Drop, I can't log in. You're calling. God damn it. Let's see, let's see if, uh... Tell him, to, tell, chat, tell him I'm trying to sign in. in. Okay, I'm logging in now. Tell him. Tell him. Don't you feel like answering? The people, the people have a right to know. Patrick, I'm answering. The people have a right to know. Okay, it looks like I'm logged in. Is Dan too busy on his goddamn periscope? No. You can't, you can't, you can't make the time for me? I'm logged in now, Patrick. Where's his? I'm not, I'm not friends with him, even though we just had a thing. I need to add him as a friend. My guess friend. is he's scared. My guess is he doesn't know what's coming. Add the favorites. He gave me 72 hours. I'm gonna call. Here we go. Within 72 hours. Got to mute this. Patrick Klepek. Hello, Patrick Klepek. Oh yeah, you put on your video, buddy. It is. Can you not see me? Oh, 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 oh. I got to accept it. Okay. You know, Right, it could be terrible things on this end. So, um, so you're, I beat your level. You did. It's over. It 100% is. I have nothing to say. I have no excuses. You beat my level. I did not expect you to. You won. So here's what I proposed, though. I heard you. No, other than that. Oh, okay. So, this... The donations have gone far above and beyond. Yes, that's great. What are we at right now? We're at... Over 10,000. It's really, really good. 10... What are we at? Nope, oh, okay. Wait, hang on. Let's see. Periscope's coming back up. Hopefully that means Skype is coming up soon. Periscope, are you there? Hello. I saw a couple chat things earlier. Motherfucker, what's happening here? Okay, Periscope's up. Cool. I shut down the Twitch app on Xbox. Skype's being weird. Ah, oh, god damn it. I want to hear what the fuck he was about to say. That was the worst timing in the world. Uh, tell, tell Patrick I'm working on it. Now, I'm not, like, kidding or anything. I just, I actually want to hear this. Log him back in. Okay, I think my internet is back up. Okay. There's Patrick. I'm going to give him a call. Okay, I think we're good now. Hello? You're back. Okay, we're working now. That seemed like that timing was weird to where it's like was, I got mad and like left or whatever, but no, that's super that was mad. Literally the, that was literally the worst timing. Yeah, you were about to tell me the thing that I really wanted to hear. Okay, so you were saying... That you had not saying, said everything on your stream. What is the whole thing you're bringing up? So, uh, we have made an enormous amount of money yes. on uh, this. Uh, we were at $10,000. It is still climbing. That is way more than the $500 I set as uh, an absurd bar that I thought was already ridiculous. And I think we should just, we'll just, whatever, it, we'll let it go for 72 hours. We'll get another 24 plus to contribute and we'll end it at uh, 830 uh, or 930. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, and we'll split the money halfway, both charities win, and this dumb thing ends in, like, a really cool way. Wait, you said split the money? Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I would love to do that. That'd be fantastic. I mean, it's five, it's five, it's $5,000, like, for each amazing cause. That seems to make the most sense to me. It's, like, it's it's way too, it's, it's damn, it's too much money. It's a lot of money. That's really cool that we can do that. I don't like the fact that I'm going to have to take that out and then write a check for that amount of money. <laughs> do you write a check? What do you do with that amount of money? Like, I, like uh, I, didn't, I didn't go this far into how, I mean, I looked at the websites to see, like, how much money can you donate? And obviously you can do big donations, but, like, do you write a check? No, you can, can you uh, your bank account? I've done PayPal stuff, and you can go into, like... Can you pay about $5,000? Probably. I, yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's let's do that. Right. Let's, let's pay about $5,000 to two things. That sounds great. Uh, so everyone, uh, I don't have to, what to say. Each time is closed up. 
process of starting my yeah, Patrick, uh, I, I think I'm cutting out again. Uh, God damn it. I'm going to call you. Put me on speakerphone. I'll call you. Hey there. Yeah, you just want to put me on speaker since I'm having that extremely poorly timed stuff. Okay, great. It was. It started with two things. It was one the chat, and when we were making our community level that said that you could stand on top of a block and go into the closed door. Said, okay, that's one seed of thought there. And then the second one is, oh, Patrick sucks at music blocks, and he said on a stream once that if somebody wanted to make the worst level for me, it would just be a bunch of music blocks. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to put those two together. I heard, okay, so before my internet just went to shit, I heard you say that you were going to come here and we both played like someone else's level and we saw who could get further or whatever in a set amount of time. Is that the gist of it? That's a good option. Another one, if we wanted to, because Jeff is really starting to like, you know, making some pocket levels. I don't know if he plays much for each one, but maybe Jeff could make one for both of us, and he could be like the neutral, like judge party, and then we both have to beat it. Or I'm, I'm also all for like the blindfold thing is cool because that gives us both a chance to like, okay, let's see who you know, we have to create and we have to make. It's just kind of like the ultimate champion there. Um, instead of just playing. Because if we have a third party make a level or if we play other people's levels, it's just like, okay, who could play this better? But if it's us making levels for the other one and we have to clear them, that's testing both sides of the equation. You think so? Okay, I can ask him about that tomorrow. Yes, I'm going to go to bed. You, Patrick? That, that's true. But seriously, you you did really good. I, I thought there was no chance in hell. I, I know you haven't been able to see much like chat or Twitter stuff or whatever, but like no one thought you had a chance with this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it was it was this morning that I was like, okay, he's gonna get this. He's totally gonna do this. Alright, fantastic work, Patrick. I still periscoping. Are there people in this chat? I don't know. I completely forgot that was still happening. Oh, yep, there. We <laughs> uh, I didn't know that was still going on. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm going to bed. That was really fun. Oh crap! That's the whole thing. All right, folks. I said my stuff. I'm in my level. Patrick beat it. We're not done. Not by a long shot. We'll be back, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for donating.